Elevens. The new Jordan 11s in Varsity Red, from my friends in Titan. There's a few coincidences happening here, if we try. Originally, the Jordan 11s were released in 1995. The Heads released which album in 95? Leave your guesses in the comments. Don't Google it. No cheating. <laughs> the last song we recorded was 1995. 1995 marked the return of Michael Jordan from semi-retirement. The shoe designer, Tinker Hatfield, designed these so they can also be worn off-court and even in formal settings. At the photo shoot, the folks at Titan asked me, what was my cherry on top moment for 2022? The obvious answers could be the two US tours with Ultra Combo and Sandwich, the new album by Party Pace, or the Eraserheads concert. But honestly, my NBA championship moment goes to my daughter Atari graduating college. I don't take credit for it. That's her and the village. But somehow, this event freed me up in so many ways. Emotionally, mentally, artistically, and financially. It kind of feels like retirement. A lot of possibilities have opened, including actual retirement. I can just ride bikes and make music at home. All right. But right now, I'm just jet lagged. We arrived a couple of days ago from the Sandwich US tour. Sleep is my weakness. I can be hungry, cold, or even without internet, but I can't function without enough sleep. At the rehearsals, a lot of work needs to be done. Non-musical related problems needed to be solved. I have no brain cells nor patience for it. I haven't played drums in three weeks. The memory is there, but the muscles are a bit stiff. Buddy is trying out Jazz's new keyboard. I love that it's blue. It reminds me of my first synth, the Yamaha CS1X, that I used from Sticker Happy to Carbon. Ellie is working on details with Mikey and Jazz. Shinji and Topper, sorting out my kit and monitor rig. Audrey, setting up. We're simulating the actual stage. I'm on the higher platform in the back with Audrey, Mikey, and Jazz. Behind me are the backup singers in Mel Villena's orchestra. I tried playing at 90% power para masana yung katawan. I cramped after a few hours. <laughs> Atari gave me pokari sweat and bananas. Backstage with Ange from New York. Erica, Atari, and Badef Metal. Lunch is salpicao and lechon kawali. Ellie sent vegan donuts from Green Bar, Makati. They taste like donuts without the guilt. Monpun Salan of Team Manila dropped by to show us samples of the Ehead shirts. Leave a comment if you get the design references. They will be available in Suez and Zapote and Team Manila Lazada, Team Manila Shapi, and in the concert. I won't clearly show the shirts para Dima bootleg agad. A few of the shirts were designed by Veda, Buddy's daughter. Buddy getting a shot of Banayad whiskey. Banayad nga. Classmate Jay Contreras dropped by with his cool kids, Kid Latin Isla. Last I saw these kids in person was when they were toddlers running around Tinta. They're all grown up now. 
Jay rides motorcycles with Ellie and the cruiser heads. After lunch, Direct Paolo Valenciano showed us the stage and lighting designs. Mel Villena arranged and conducted the strings and horns for the albums. It's only fitting to have him and his crew here, live. He knows our groove and odd musical habits well. I get goosebumps hearing the live orchestra play. We're getting into it. The horns bring the funk. Odds and I break out dancing. As Mel ramps up the energy to 11. <laughs> 